Hi, I'm Paul Briggs from PandaPix, where we help you rescue your memories from the box. So today we're going to show you how to turn this into this, and then, using special software, into this. So the first thing you're going to need is a light box. Uh, the one that I have found useful is one that is a larger light box for what you really need for a small negative, but it, will, it, it provides a nice platform with uniform light. The second thing you're going to need is a way to hold your negatives onto this light box and be able to e easily position them. I've come across this adapter which, by a company called Photosolve, which is intended to marry up to a digital camera in order to allow you to take pictures directly from your camera. But since we're going to be using this for smartphones and all kinds of uh, cameras, I want to use this adapter to place directly onto the light box. It has a 35 millimeter slide frame and we're going to hold this down using magnets and this will allow us to easily uh, insert and position our negatives in order to take pictures of them. The third thing you're going to need is your smartphone or digital camera and a way to hold and position the smartphone and, or camera above the light box. Now one creative way I've, I've found to do this is I've uh, adapted a monitor, adjustable monitor stand that clamps onto a table. And then once I bought the stand, then I put a piece of wood on the end, screwed it in, and then I put a, a camera ad, ad, a whole adapter plate on it. And in this case, I bought a little gadget that holds a smartphone. So all you need to do is position it on the edge of the table, lock it down, and then you can raise or lower the camera or smartphone as needed, and you can adjust it to make it level, and you can take your pictures. What I've done is I've taken that uh, negative holder and taped it down onto the light box. I've put some magnets on top of the slide holder to hold the slide holder in place. I've positioned the camera holder to capture as much of the negative as I can while it's still in focus. Now what you're going to find is that your smartphone can only go so close and then things start be becoming out of focus. So you want to get as close as you can and then stop and take your pictures there. You're going to have to crop them later on because you just can't get the whole image with the, the particular lens you've got. So we're going to just fill as much of the frame as we can. Here's one. Then we slide the negative along. Take another one, slide the negative along, and take another one. This is a Canon T2i with the kit lens. Now what you're going to find is with the kit lens you can't make the negative fill the whole frame, so you have to back the camera up until it stays in focus. You, you may want to put this in the manual focus mode and get as much of the negative in view as you can while it's still in focus. I have this set up. So I'm going to turn it on and I'm going to go ahead and take a picture and then move the negatives on through. That's, I'm not, since it's in manual focus, I'm just going to take another picture, move it on through, take another picture, move it on through, and finally you are, you're on your last picture of this set. And you continue the process. Now for the fun part. We're going to convert your digital negatives to positives using a program called ViewScan. ViewScan is a program meant for scanning on your desktop scanner, but it will also process your files from a camera. I've got ViewScan open, and you, op you go to the Files selection on the Input tab, and you select the At button and locate the folder where you have stored your files. You're going to have to change the tip, TIFF drop-down to JPEG and open up one of the images. Make sure your batch scan selection is off and select Preview. When you open it up, it may or may not have your negative bounded. I, in this case, I do. Now, you need to change the media 
selection to color negative and when you do that you're going to also want to go to the color tab and make sure that you have the right film picked for the film that you're using I also like to change the color balance to auto and we're going to go back to the input and say it, it, it and say scan and this will scan this to the folder of your selection that you set up on the output tab so you can see that with a little bit of equipment and software you can quickly and easily convert your negatives into quality positives if you don't want to do this yourself we at pandapix would be glad to do this for you check out our website at pandapixky.com thanks for watching